50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see me cover up this incision. And hopefully you can't see it very well right now because I have it covered up with makeup. Now the idea for this video happened about a week ago when I had one of my lovely viewers who wrote in a comment and it was so sad. She said, I had a surgery about a year ago and I've got this hugely long incision on my face and I'm depressed. I can't stand looking in the mirror. I just feel like staying home and just shutting the doors and not seeing anyone. And I realized that although I really didn't want to show you this incision close up because I can cover it well with makeup and I didn't really want you to see what it looked like at this point, I realized that there was a need out there for, for women that have facial imperfections or facial scars that need to cover them and that I needed to just forget my own ego and forget my own sense of comfort and really be honest with you and show you what this incision looks like and show you how I cover it. That is one of the best things about makeup is that when we do have imperfections or things we're dealing with, we can use makeup to cover them up and feel and look our best. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell. That will notify you of my future videos. And my channel is designed to help all of us have a wonderful second half. So let's get to it. I'll remove the makeup from the incision and let's get started. Okay, now this is my incision. And as you can see, it's slightly red. However, it's not super red, so I'm not going to use a color corrector on that, but I'm going to show you how I cover that up. If it were a red incision, I would use a little bit of the Smashbox color correcting in red, just to put that over there. A little bit of color corrector would null out that red. However, I don't have a lot of red. Um, what I do use, however, is this Smashbox Pore Minimizer Primer. And the reason I use the Pore Minimizer primer on the incision is simply because it does null out any kind of imperfections in the skin, including incisions. So I just put that on there and I have it on under my makeup. You can't really see in the camera, but it does just give you a little more of an even canvas to work with. Next, you go in with your foundation and I would really recommend a full coverage foundation for sure to cover up incisions. And this is my Peach Perfect Foundation in Nude and it's a matte foundation, absolutely love it. Also do wear a matte foundation because anytime you add shimmer to that incision, it's going to make it pop forward and be more visible. You want to matte it out and make it look flat against your skin. So I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of foundation on it, just like that, pat that in with your fingers. Then I'm going to go in with a little foundation brush. You can really use anything that you would normally use to put your foundation on. Looking in my mirror here. And the foundation goes a long way to nulling that out to where you can't see it. But you can still see a little bit of the blackness there. I don't know if you can see that. You can see in the incision, this part of it has a little bit of a shadow because it is bumped up at this point. However, for those of you with Mohs incisions to cover, it takes 10 months to a year to totally flatten out, but they do flatten out and totally become invisible usually. So there you can see that. So there's the foundation on, put a little bit in the corner there. Now the next step is to blend that in and I would usually use a Tarte Shape Tape there and you can do that. I do that some days, but I'm going to go ahead and use this Derma Blend, which is a little bit of a good cover there. And we'll go ahead and put that on the darker side primarily of the incision because you want to bring the, the darker side up. And again, you can use Tarte Shape Tape first. That's a good full coverage concealer. And you don't have to get the Derma Blend, but I think it doesn't hurt because it is designed to cover up incisions and things like that. So there you go. You can see it's starting to blend better into the skin. And this is the Derma Blend Quick Fix Concealer, and it does do a good job of concealing. Very high coverage concealer, which I really like. Next, we're going to go in with a little magic, and I'm so happy that I found these. L'Oreal just came out with these, and I bought it in two colors, the two peach correcting colors, and they have a green and I believe a purple, which are designed to cover other things. But the lightest one I got is the 402 Peach, which I really like. And I actually bought this one and then realized it was slightly light for my skin. And then the 401 color in Bisque Natural, which is slightly darker. So I'll go in and just on the dark side of the incision only, I'm just going to go up there and see how that just totally blends that nicely in. And yeah. if I were you and really trying to uh, cover an incision, I would buy both of these because you can mix them together. They're about $7.50 a piece and they really do work well. And again, you don't put it all over, you put it in the dark part of the incision to make it blend. And then just use your little fingers there to just kind of pat that out, make that blend. Ooh, I love this. Ladies, makeup is fabulous. Makeup is magical. Next, I'm going to set that with a little bit of powder so it lasts all day, and this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in Translucent. There we go. 
And I have this wonderful little Real Technique squirrel brush that I use for my under eye powder. Just put a little bit of that into the lid. Not very much there. Just kind of pat that out there. I'll do it under both eyes. So that is how I blended that out. And usually that lasts all day, but if you feel more comfortable, take your concealer with you, take your foundation with you, and you should look good all day. Now to complete the covering up of the incision, let's go in with a little bit of blush. And this is the It Cosmetics Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. Love this. And I've been wearing it for about a week and it is a fabulous blush. Like the Tarte blushes will last all day. I never knew the It Cosmetics blush would do the same thing, but it really does. And I really like it better. It seems to blend better than the Tarte's because see, I'm getting a very, very natural look here. And I've also noticed that when you put the blush on just to pat it on, because really you're trying to imitate the look of the blood brushing up to your skin, which it wouldn't rush up in just a swatch. It would just rush up, you know, in little bits to your skin, like the capillaries hitting your skin. So there we go. Now I'm also going to go in with my Hourglass contour and highlighter. Here's a little Real Techniques contour brush, which I absolutely love. It just gets right in there where you need it to go. Just right up under the cheek. Don't come down too low. A little bit along the jawline. Make it look a little more sculpted there. A little bit underneath. Just to look like your perfect chin is casting a perfect shadow on your perfect neck. I'm into perfect today. I guess I'll go ahead and put some up here. I need to get in the habit of doing that because I have a very squarish forehead, very rectangular forehead. I need to bring the sides in a little bit. Then I'll go ahead in with a little bit of this wonderful highlighter in the Frankenstein divots. Okay, so that is a look at how you cover up incisions on your face. And I will say there's another very important detail to all of this, and that is visualization and positive words. I realized after I got this little incision on my face for the first few weeks, I was terrified and I walked around calling it an S-C-A-R and saying, you know, I look like an M-O-N-S-T-E-R, monster if you can't spell. And that was very, very counterproductive because our words are super powerful in life. Our words write the script of our life. They give power to our life. They actually have a lot to do with how our life turns out. And I realized I had to change that. So anytime I started to go negative like that about the incision, I would say, my skin is flat and beautiful. My skin is flat and beautiful. My under eyes look fabulous. My under eyes look fabulous. So do that with regard to your incision verbally. And the second component is visualization. You want to visualize that incision healing perfectly flat against your skin. And there are actually some studies, I wish I'd had time to look one up for you, but there are actually some studies which show that visualization can really help with regard to healing of incisions. And how I do that is every morning during my little 10 minute meditation, which I will discuss with you in a future video, Video. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please subscribe and click that little bell. That way you'll be notified of that video and all my other future skincare and feeling good videos. The whole point of this channel is to have a fabulous second half and we're learning to do that together. And how I do that is when I meditate in the morning for my 10 minutes, I'll spend about five minutes visualizing and I'll just shut my eyes and then I see real quickly a picture of the incision on the right and then I move my glance to the left. You know, I've got my eyes shut, but I move my eyes to the left and I see that skin as totally flat and beautiful and perfect. I see the white light of God coming down and healing that and just erasing any imperfections there. I see that inside the skin, all of those little incision fibers are knitting back together just like healthy skin. I absolutely see that incision flattening out and being absolutely beautiful. And that's a very important part of it, ladies, and I hope you'll do it too if you're dealing with a facial incision. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'll go ahead to this Life Loves You deck, and this is Louise Hay, and we'll see what God has in store for us today. Okay, here we go. Come on, God, give us a good one. Ooh, this is a good one. I am willing to love myself. I am willing to love myself. Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love you. I really, really love you. Don't be shy. It's just another way of saying life loves you. And ladies, it's so funny that I got this card when I'm dealing with this incision because the incision is actually teaching me a lot. And I always say God doesn't give bad gifts. And at first I wondered what kind of gift is this incision on my face? And I realized that just like everything in my life that appeared negative at first, this incision was a great little teacher. What it teaches me is that I don't have to be perfect to be loved and to love myself. And it's funny because right now I'm going through a 21 day challenge in a book called Mirror Work 
work. And, and how it works is you look in the mirror every day and you say all these positive, wonderful things to yourself. Like you look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm willing to love you. I really, really love you. You are perfect just the way you are. And it was very hard at first to do that along with this incision because I would see that every time I looked at myself and saying, you are perfect just the way you are and having this on my face was not too much fun, but it was very, very important for me to do. And loving ourselves, friends, that is the most important thing we can do for ourselves in the second half. And you know, it's easy not to have self-love. It's easy to pick yourself apart. I did that myself pretty much my whole first half and it did nothing positive. None of that motivated me. Loving myself and approving of myself, that is the ticket to positive change in my life. That's the ticket to feeling good, to looking good, to radiating love out into the world, which makes all of us beautiful. So just for today, I hope you'll be willing to love yourself. Take care. See you next time.